Which of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Dyspareunia, vaginismus, a female sexual interest arousal disorder, persistent genital arousal disorder, or genitopelvic pain penetration disorder. A 32-year-old woman presents to the, her primary care physician with concerns about her sexual health. She, is short, she reports that she has been experiencing pain during intercourse for the past six months, which has significantly affected her relationship with her partner. She has no other medical issues and takes no medication. A pelvic examination is normal. What of the following is the most likely diagnosis? Um, okay, I believe right now this is a younger woman who I don't believe it's cancer. It's because she's already, she's premenopausal. Um, I would have to say just from this, it's be this penetration disorder. Um, that's my gut. I really don't have an idea of what dyspareunia or vaginismus is. I don't like that I don't know what dyspareunia means. I feel like there's something that's calling my name to that. But <laughs> um, I have no reason to pick it from, from my choice. But yeah, I'm thinking she just has pain with her intercourse. It would make sense with like pelvic pain or penetration disorder. Um, All right, your final answer. Arousal. Um, Yeah, I'm actually going to stick with this as my final answer. Okay, let, let's talk I, about this here. So... Persistent, recurrent, because before, during, or after intercourse, the patient's presentation of pain during intercourse for access of that, any other medical uh, issue or abnormal findings on the pelvic exam is consistent with dyspareunia, right? That's just a kind of a definition thing. Vagismus, right? This is usually involuntary contraction of pelvic floor muscles, right? And so um, sometimes on the um, on the physical exam, when you're examining the, um, using a, doing a pelvic exam, it's going to be tight or they're going to have pain, right? Sexual arousal, right? They'll tell you kind of clinically that they're not feeling aroused or not interested, right? Um, persistent general arousal, I think is going to be the opposite of it right which um obviously they're going to say you know they're always turned on or whatever it is right um and then penetration is going to be it seems like this one's a little bit more um of a combination of dyspareunia and vagismus okay so i think on physical exam they might say that you know it's a little bit tight they have fear anxiety mm -hmm. about pain or penetration right tensing or tightening of the pelvic floor muscles during attempted penetration so on physical exam it probably is not going to be normal all right. So I think overall, I think you worked through this question pretty good, to be honest with you, you know, um, very closely related answers. Right. But um, I think uh, you worked through it clinically pretty good. Right. And so um, you kind of were stuck between these two. And I think that on a real test, if you don't really know what it means and you shouldn't pick it, you know, so I think that's good test taking. Um, don't pick an answer choice you don't know, because if you were to having to support it, you wouldn't be able to. Right. Exactly. And I, I knew, I felt like I've heard this before and I'm like, dyspareunia, I, I felt like that was something, but I had no reason to pick it because I didn't know what it was. Exactly. And so, yeah. Exactly. And so that's okay. I mean, you got to keep practicing good test taking strategies because more times than not, that's going to be kind of um, how you get answers. So.